Hello everyone, it has been quite some time, a lot longer than what I was hoping for it to be, but welcome on back here. I am Lewis, if you don't already know, and you are watching Lost in Travel, if you also don't already know, but you should know, because you clicked on this video. A very special video indeed. It has been a while since I've spoken to you all, and I deeply apologise for that. I've been quite active over on Instagram, again, not as much as I would want to be, but it's because I've got a job now. I got a job in a cafe in Edinburgh, so I've just been working loads of hours throughout the month of August. It was supposed to be temporary, but I'm actually going to be staying on with them, so... But yeah, it's been ages. I've been trying to make vlogs. I've actually still got a backlog of vlogs, but I've just not had the chance to edit them. But they will be coming to you very, very, very shortly. So yeah, I've had to make engagement go quite low for the month of August, but it does mean I'm going to be rolling in that British pound sterling, though. So... I will be using that for many, many adventures in the near future and I'll be taking you all on that and I, I, just, I just can't wait. The world is looking so much brighter from this angle and I hope you guys are having a great time too. Tell me what you guys have been up to, it's been such a long time. And that's basically it for this introduction. Thank you all for watching as I open up a brand new camera. You may be wondering, Lewis, why do you have a brand new camera? Well, let me tell you, the camera I am using to film this video right now, it is a Canon 800D DSLR. I have been using Canons basically since I started getting into filmmaking and I, look at me guys, look at these muscles. Vlogging with a Canon 800D, it is, it is really difficult. Like, if I hold this camera... Hello, hello. Um, how you all been? Eh, look, the beard, the beard is getting in there now. Um, the hair is a, a mess. I'm getting it, I'm getting it cut next week for going back to university. So that's going to be jolly. But look, guys, my arm is already sore. So I've, had to, I've already had to switch hands. That arm's getting sore, okay, that was a bit of over-exaggeration, it wasn't really. But I'm just going to show you that holding this camera to vlog is, is difficult. This camera is great for doing my B-roll. I love it, it's nice and smooth. I can get a nice firm grip on it. The, putting an external microphone on it has been great and all, but, like, my, my arm is shaking right now, guys. Like, I'm just... It is tough, it is a tough life. And also, the camera screen is on the side, so I keep on staring at it. You probably see I'm looking not at the camera because I'm just looking at my handsome face. And I know I've got to stop, but I've got to look right at you guys, like right at you guys. But it's a lot easier said than done, you know? So this is why I've got myself a new camera. Yeah, so my arm, my arms are quite sore from that. But this is why I have got myself a new camera. I've got myself the more compact camera. And it's going to be specifically for doing the vlogging. I wanted two different cameras just to build my setup. I'm going to tell people that I've got multiple different things, you know. No mean to brag. But it's also so I can use the two cameras for two different things. It means I can maybe maybe keep the different lenses on it and use more of my other lenses that I've got for the Canon. Because I do have a, ma a macro lens. And I've also got a zoom lens. But I just never put it on because I always just keep the main wide lens on. Because... I talk all the time, I'm always talking into the camera. So that's why I felt like it would be very beneficial for me to get a new camera so I can use this one right here. Look, I'm, I'm basically hugging you right now. This one right here is going to be getting used for my photography and it's going to be getting used for the B-roll and other external shots. Whereas I'm going to use this one, not my crotch, but not the scissors. This one right here, a nice Amazon box, big smile. I'm going to be using this for talking into the camera. Basically, if I've got to just rattle something off of my chest, I've got this right here to do it with. And I can't wait. I just can't wait to get back into vlogging. It's been so long since I made my last proper vlog. 
But anyway, without further ado, why not we unbox the Sony... The Sony RX100 Mark IV. Okay, so I've got my trusty pair of scissors. I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to let it come out. So if you're probably firstly going to be asking me why I've decided to go for a Sony rather than a Canon because that's what I've been using, that's what I'm used to. Well, I just felt like, you know, it was time for a change and I think it is probably going to be good to mix the two cameras, have Canon for one thing, have Sony for the other. You know, I am not um, going to, like, have a preference on a brand. I've really just used Canon. I use Canon at university, so that is why I just stick with it. But it will be nice to try out a different brand of camera and just see what the differences are. So that's why I went for Sony. I've heard that loads of people highly recommend getting a Sony. So I am actually really looking forward to trying one out for the first time. And who knows, maybe I do eventually jump to Sony whenever I have got the money for it. Let's get this open, because it's just sitting in an Amazon box and I'm dying to see what it looks like. All right, I'm never very good with scissors. Okay, it's always so much fun when you've just opened a parcel for the first time and you're just about to dive in and see what the product properly looks like in the flesh, even though the product is a flesh in the metal. Here we go. So just lovely packaging. I wouldn't normally do that. I done it for the uh, the creative drama there, but you can tell I'm new to doing unboxings. But anyways, here is the box right here. Sony RX one hundred four. Let's take a look at it. All right, the moment has finally come. So first, of all, oh my god! So it came with many, many instructions. I'll probably get through all them later. There, you're gonna click off the video if I try to go through all the instructions. I'm not that type of person. Let's get on to the main reason why you're watching this. All right, so I've got a nice plug. Anyway, the cable for that, that got its wristband so I can tie it up. And, ooh, very skinny batteries compared to what the Canons are. Like, let me show you what the Canons are right now. Right here is the Sony RX100 Mark IV battery compared to the Canon 800D1. As you can see, it's a lot slimmer for the smaller camera and can pack up one. The battery can last about 29 minutes of continuous shooting. And this is pretty good, but to be on the safe side, I've ordered a four pack and five batteries in total. Fuck a lot, so this will be extremely useful. Okay, let's go to the main attraction. Ooh, it's in its case. There we go. That is my new camera. The Sony RX100 IV. This is the fourth model of the positively reviewed Sony RX100 series and can seriously make a big difference to my content going forward. The camera is light, only weighing at 271 grams, making it preferred by vloggers and travelers alike. Additionally, with an optical zoom in the ability for recording 4K and at 50 frames per second, this camera will offer the ability to get smooth, high definition content. Even better, the aperture can go as low as f stop 1.8, making it handy for nighttime filming. So far, so good. The only problem I have witnessed at this point is no external microphone. This is an upgrade only added to the recent models. And I think the best thing about this, the reason I did go for this one in particular, is this. This is the reason. Look at that. I have now flipped up the camera. You guys are now seeing what I'm filming this with. I can now talk into the camera.
Welcome on here to South Queen's Ferry everyone. I am now filming this with the Sony RX100 Mark IV and I've just been doing a little trial day here on this lovely Sunday morning. Beside the bridges, the reflections are looking great so it means I can just challenge myself, try to take loads of photos with this camera and test it. I mean, I have to say, the focusing is really good. It's automatically picks me up even with that beautiful landmark right behind me. It's already trying to pick up my face. It's great, I'm, I'm no getting a sore arm holding this up right now, getting lovely views, it's even picking up the reflections beneath my shoulder. I really enjoy using this camera and I can't wait to use it more. I also forgot to mention that a few days ago I tested the camera up at Turtle Hill late at night and the quality still seemed positive even in the dark evening conditions. This will make vlogging in low light or on late nights so much easier. I'm using it, testing it out. Wait, subscribe. Press the button to press off. I don't even know where to turn it off. Oh, there it is. So, anyways, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. If you want to see more, then definitely hit that like button. It would really help the channel out a lot. I'm quite new to unboxing, so it may have been fairly um, amateur, but hey, I did a little bit of a vlog in here. We came to visit South Queen's Ferry, and the conditions were just perfect to do so. Anyways, if you did enjoy, guys, then please remember to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all of the videos I'm going to be running out in the future. The next few weeks of Silk and Out videos when I did not have this camera. I made about three vlogs before getting this Sony RX100 Mark IV. So if you are going to be interested in seeing everything I got up to a couple months back in the prime of summer, then definitely subscribe because I will be bringing it all out to you in the coming weeks. Anyways, have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. Remember to follow me on all my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It would be much appreciated. And anyways, I love you all. See you all later. Peace. Bye-bye, guys. Why can't we be friends? If it's so much easier Before we got our feelings hurt And I can't pretend that it's easy Why can't we be friends?